Let's now look at opening and closing work in progress. In the previous discussion, we concentrated on the inputs that were not fully completed by the close of the period. We assumed that there were no work in progress brought into the current year. Here, we are going to discuss a situation where a business is in a subsequent period, meaning the previous section had a closing work in progress, which will come in as opening. There will be two approaches used. You can choose any of them. First in, first out, which is FIFO, and the weighted average cost. Let's deal with the first in, first out. So here, it's assumed that the business will first work on the work in progress that has come into the business before it commences to produce others. Also, the current cost is allocated over the units completed, meaning the cost incurred in the current period will be spread over the total units completed. Then the cost of opening work in progress is added to the current processing cost to arrive at the cost of finished goods. Let's test our understanding. So the following are the costs incurred in the process for the month of February 2017 for AJ Incorporated. Materials, 10,000 units, going for $50,000. Labor, $31,800. Overheads, $21,000. At the beginning of February, there were 2,000 units of work in progress with material 100% completion, $10,000. Labor, 50% completion, $4,000. So during the month, 9,000 units were finished and transferred to the next process. The remaining 1,000 units were work in progress and were complete as follows. We have materials 100%, labor 60%, overheads 30%. So we have to calculate how many units were completed during February, calculate the cost per unit, and then value the finished items and the closing work in progress, and then prepare a process account. So for solution, We'll start with the units that were fully completed in February. So we have the opening work in progress 2000 that is supposed to be first processed before we move on to what was currently supposed to be work done 10,000 units. Out of that, 1000 were at a stage that were not fully completed. So the total will be 11,000. When we come to the cost per unit, we are seeking to spread the cost for the various categories over its equivalent unit at the end of the process. For materials was $50,000, labor $31,800, overhead $21,000. Equivalent unit, we had opening work in progress. The material was fully processed in the previous month, so nothing to be worked on here. Labor was 2,000 units. It was 50% completed in the previous month, which means 50% work has to be done on the 2,000, which is 1,000. For the overhead, the 2,000 units was 40% completed in the previous month, which means 60% work has to be done on. So 60% equivalent unit is 1,200. We come to the finished goods. 10,000 units was inputted by 9,000 was fully completed. The 1,000 units that was not fully completed, the material section was fully completed. That's 100%. For the labor, it was 60% completed, which is 600 units. Overhead was 30% complete, which is 300 units. Total equivalent unit will be 10,000 units for material, 10,600 for labor, 10,500 for overhead, leading to a cost per unit of $5 for material, $3 for labor, and $2 for overhead. A total cost per unit will be $10. When we now come to estimating the cost for the finished goods of the 11,000, opening work in progress had a value of $16,400 which was the summation of the $10,000 for material, $4,000 for labor, and $2,400 for overhead. Now, the cost of working on the opening work in progress will be zero for material because it was fully processed. Labor was 50% complete, so 50% extra work has to be done. So, at a cost of $3, will be $3,000. For overhead, it was 40% completed, requiring 60% more work. So 60% of the 2000 at a cost of $2 will give you $2,400. The total cost of finishing the opening work in progress will be $5,400. The current cost of finishing the input, 9000 was fully completed. At a total cost of $10 will be $90,000. You can pick the 9000 and multiply by 
each cost for the various categories, it will still bring you to the 90,000. The total cost will now be $111,800. When we come to the closing work in progress, the worst thousand units, we are now establishing its cost. We first have to establish its equivalent. For material was 100% complete, so the thousand units will represent. Labor was 60% complete, so 600 units. Overhead was 30% complete, so 300 units. Now, these figures will be carried into much as opening work in progress. The cost as already estimated is 5 for materials, $3 for labor, and 2 for overheads, which will lead to a total cost for closing work in progress of $5,000 for material, $1,800 for labor, and $600 for overheads. Total cost for the closing work in progress will be $7,400. When we move to the process account, we now bring the cost of the input. We will start with work in progress brought forward. That's for January. It was 2,000 units at a cost of 16400 The materials for the current period, 10,000 units at $50,000. Labor, $31,800. Overhead, $21,000. We move to the finish aspect. There were 11,000 units completed at a cost of 111,800. The cost of the work in progress for the 1,000 units was 7,400. When we close it, it will be 12,000 units. The cost will be $119,200. Move on to the second type of working out the opening and closing work in progress, the weighted average cost. So here, all finished goods are valued at an average cost. So here, the cost of both the opening work in progress and that of the current period are allocated over all units worked in the current period. Let's test our understanding. So the following are the costs incurred in the process for the month of February 2017 for AJ Incorporated. Materials of 10,000 units has a cost of $50,000. Labor $31,800. Overhead $20,200. At the beginning of February, there were 2,000 units of work in progress with materials 100% completion, $10,000, labor being completed at 50% rate, $4,000, overhead with 40% completion, $2,400. Then, during the month, 9,000 units were finished and transferred to the next process. The remaining 1,000 units were work in progress and were complete as follows. Materials 100%, labor 60%, overhead 30%. We are now to calculate how many units were completed during February. Calculate the cost per unit, value the finished item and the closing work in progress, and then prepare a process account. So the units produced in February, opening work in progress was 2,000, current period was 10,000, the closing work in progress, which was not fully completed, was 1,000. So the sum of the three will give us 11,000 units. When we come to the cost for work in progress, it was 10,000 for material, 4,000 for labor, 2,400 for overheads. The current cost was 50,000 for material, 31,800 for labor, and 20,200 for overheads. The total will be 60,000 for material, 35,800 for labor, 22,600 for overheads. The equivalent units of the product that we processed in the period. For opening work in progress, we just bring in the total inventory that was carried forward. Now this is so because it will be worked on together with the other units that will begin in the current period. So we are just adding them. Finished unit was 9,000 throughout. For closing work in progress, it was 1,000 units, equivalent of 1,000 for material because it was 100% complete, 600 for labor because it was 60%, and 300 for overhead because it was 30% complete. The total equivalent cost is 12,000 units for material, 11,600 for labor, 11,300 for overheads. So the cost per unit will be five for material, three for labor, and two dollars for overheads, giving us a total of ten dollars. When we move to the cost of finished goods, opening work in progress is 20,000, which is the 2,000 times the $10. So here, the opening work in progress normally 
does not have its equivalent units being prorated as seen in the first in first out. So the current period was 90,000, which is 9,000 times the total cost. The total will be $110,000. When we come to the work in progress, the closing, we will have it now being categorized into its equivalent sections. For material, we have 1,000 units because it was 100% complete. Labor is 600 units because it was 60%. Overhead 300 because it was 30% complete. The cost per unit, as worked earlier, is $5 for material, $3 for labor, and $2 for overheads. Total will be $5,000 for material, $1,800 for labor, $600 for overheads. The total will now be $7,400. And when we come to the process account, we first bring in the input. We'll start with the work in progress brought forward which is 2,000, valued at 16,400. The current cost of production, materials, 10,000 units at $50,000. Labor at 31,800. Overheads at $20,200. We come to the finished goods. 11,000 was fully completed in the month of February at its cost of $110,000. Work in progress of 1,000 units had its cost of 7,400. When we close the account, it's 12,000 units on both sides, 118,400 also on both sides.